2015, 7 p.m. in Auckland, Do we have a roll call, Mr. Collier? Mayor McLaughlin? Here. Mr. McIntyre? Here. Mr. Zambach? Present. Mr. Reynolds? Here. Mr. Rick Lowry? Here. Mr. Craybacher? Here. Here. Mr. Mike Lowry? Here. All members present. Thank you, sir. Uh, a little housekeeping. If you have a cell phone, please either put it on vibrate or turn it off, one or the other, so we don't interfere with the meeting. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, do you think we should have the fans back on just a little bit? You have a hot flash? I, I, may, I may later. I may later. Actually, I had a comment already from somebody about it's getting hot in here. So that's the reason. There's a young buck. <laughs> all right. Thank you, sir. On all three of one? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Reynolds, I'm going to put you on the spot. Would you like to do the invocation since we're on someone tonight? Sure. Uh, would you like or not? We can do it. All right, so go back there, please. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this night. Thank you for this meeting. Uh, thank you for everyone and the citizen and the way that's scattered here, the members of council, Lord, that your will be done here. Uh, guide us and to make us, guide us to help us make. Uh, the best decision possible for the city as we continue to govern it throughout the remainder of the year. Jesus name, pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. We'll use the flag in the back if you would, please. We're going to do the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I have a reaction on the minutes of regular meeting on August 17, 2015. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Craver, second by Mr. McIntyre. Any questions, everyone? Any comments in the minutes? Mr. Tyler, please. Mr. Zambach. Yes. Mr. Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry. Yes. Mr. Craver. Yes. Mr. Mark Lowry. Yes. Mayor McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. McIntyre. Yes. Pass seven to zero. Okay, thank you. Pass. <coughs> communications. Where are the communications tonight, Mr. None, city Manager? None this okay. evening, sir. Then we will bring the city manager to report. If you will, please. Sure. Just got a brief update. Um, I just want to preface this by saying that I will not be fielding any questions regarding the fire department tonight. Uh, with that being said, short, sweet, simple, to the point. Last week, I did accept the resignations of Captain Jim Bowman, Captain Dan Bowman, Kerry Yantis, and also Chief Brad Phillips. Brad Phillips' uh, resignation date will be effective on September 11th, which is this Friday. I have placed Assistant Chief Ritter in command of the fire department until we find a permanent replacement. So we are moving forward. We will put out the ad in the Dayton paper, the Springfield paper, to do an exclusive search. And then um, we will get some interviews together, and then we will name our new fire chief in, in the weeks or months to come. That's all, Mr. Mayor. That's all we have tonight? Well, we have one more thing. I have copies of resignation letter from Brad. If anybody would like to see that, to see me after the meeting. And could you update us as far as taking down the buildings for Speedway? Speedway, yes, please. Sure, Speedway started construction and they demoed their houses. You want to be out of here at 705. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. I always want to touch on that the next week. That's why I didn't really bring anything up. Okay. Yeah. Come in the I mean, next council meeting. Can you Mr. Ryan. Yeah. Go ahead. Can you give an update about last week when you and I were what we saw. We did. We went and rode along with the Beaver Creek COPP program, which is Citizens on Preventative Patrol. We went down there. A uh, very well-run organization uh, Beaver Creek has down there. Um, very nice facilities. Uh, me and Councilman Rick Lowry had went down to ride along with some of their members of the COPP program. Um, we were in the car for about an hour and a half. Saw some of the things they do as far as uh, house checks if you're on vacation. 
They'll drive by your house and look for anything that's maybe suspicious. They won't go in the backyard, but they'll drive down the road. Um, they put out um, speed trap things where it says how fast you're going. They'll even write down your license plate number if you're going X amount of miles over the registered speed limit. Um, and then they'll send you a letter out saying, hey, we saw this, please slow it down. Um, they do a lot of things. Unfortunately, we, we didn't get to see a lot of that. Um, but just to keep everybody in the loop, we are looking into possibly getting a similar program here in New Carlisle, where citizens on preventative patrol will just be on the car and just help alleviate some of the, the workloads that our deputies have to do. And by the way, this is one of our deputies, uh, Deputy Allender. So if you see her, please say hi. Uh, seems to be a great person. I've had a good conversation <laughs> with her here for about five minutes. So if you need anything, she'll be happy to help. That's it. I, I do believe. Anything else that you would like to counsel? Uh, any other questions? Maybe. I mean, you're filling in two or three hats tonight. That's why. Sure. sure. Cuts is not here. Anybody have anything? Anybody <clears throat> say anything? For the city manager? No. Go ahead. A um, couple of meetings ago, we talked about the flag for outside of Madison School. Has anything been decided about selling off pieces of it? Or I would have to say probably not. Because if we sell that one piece, then we're going to be up to sell another thing. So I think that we need to find out what's going with that school as a whole before we start just sit pricing things out. Okay. Can you go on over what happened with the real estate auction? With what? Sure, auction. One parcel had sold. They have a second share of sale at 9-11. So you have a report on that at the next council meeting. Anyone else? Any questions for the city manager? They must have said. We're going in for a couple of spots. All right. Well, we're going to thank you so much. Sure. Sure. All right, we're now at comments from members of the public. Please limit yourself to five minutes. Would anybody like to speak? Yes, sir. I just want to make a comment on uh, uh, William Lindsay 314 North Village. I think y'all got it memorized by now. But I just want to make a comment on uh, Mr. Bridges' uh, statement on the houses that were gone. They was gone in about two hours. I went by there this morning around 10 o'clock. And when I came back by two and a half hours later, they was gone. And I had to take a double take because I thought I was on the wrong street. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was nothing there. So they, they did a pretty good job of it. Right. Any, I do have one question for Mr. Bridge. Any idea where they're going to start tearing down the station? And is there a timeline for the rebuild? Uh, they're supposed to close that store down in a week, what I was told today. Uh, and it takes about 90 days for the get a new one put up. Can be quick? Okay. Sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the comments. Yes, sir. Would you go to the podium and verify yourself? Thank you. This guy's awesome. Well, guys, you haven't seen me around here much. Ron Manman's the name. I've been in this village, I'm sorry, city, since 1966. Been on the fire department. I'm still a member. I haven't resigned. I can't pull holes. I can't climb ladders. But I can still see and look and watch and see that. Mr. Mayor, would you speak up just a little bit? I think we're having trouble hearing you. We call us out. That won't do any good. I got it. I got it. But anyway, I've been a member of the department since 1967. I've enjoyed it. And for most of you that don't know, I'm the first paramedic in Clark County, 1973, August. Had a lot of good times there, had a lot of sad times, but this is one of the finest things that ever hit emergency medical service. It's a paramedic program. The second thing is care flight. We don't use care flight often, but usually it's supposed to be when you have someone with a head injury. Now, it don't have to be a crushing head injury. It just has to be a hard impact. But anyway, I don't really have anything more to say. I just want to thank the council and the city and Mr. Randy Bridge. It's nice to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, may God bless this organization. Continue your good work, and I'm always ready to help you if it means sweeping snow or uh, hoeing your garden or 
<laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you for yourself, so we appreciate it. Thanks. I mean, you can seriously sit on this one for hours. That was the time. Anyone else? Okay, we'll go up. Thank you. Thank you all. Committee reports. Then this evening, sir. Um, resolutions done. Ordinances. Would you like to go ahead, sir? Yes, Mayor. Ordinance 15 36, public hearing in action tonight. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with the city of Springfield, Ohio. <laughs> for the purpose of continuing to provide dispatch, dispatching services to the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. Mr. Mayor. Yes. The commission adopt ordinance 15-36. We <clears throat> got two. This is an explanation of this ordinance. City of Springfield provides our fire and EMS dispatching services to the city of New Carlisle. Um, so this was up for renewal. It uh, end in June. The contract had expired June 2015. Uh, we have been going month to month. If you had read over the terms of the new agreement, you'll see that it actually only lasts for one year. I've requested that because of the talk with the combined um, dispatching between the county and the city. So I didn't want to uh, put ourselves into a term of three or four years and have to go back and redo it. So this actually has new terms as far as, far as when it ends and then also who can, who and when can end it as far as days in advance. So what I did is set us up to find out, uh, set us up to be able to get out of it if we know they're going to move to that dispatching as a whole. Okay. Any questions? Council? Anyone? No, I have a question. Yes, sir. I'm having a hard time hearing you. I, I know. They probably, they may not be turned down. Who made the motion? Yeah, I, I noticed they got louder and louder. Yes. So I second it. Mike. Mike, uh, yeah, Mike, Mike, Mike was first, and then. Uh, you just need the middle one on it, doesn't it? You second it, Mr. Williams? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. But the middle one there is not the middle one on it. Yeah, I agree with you, Mr. Collier. I've got a little loud, man. Especially when the air kicked off. Yeah, really throw the blast off. Is that better? Yes, that's better. What, more good? More good? There you go. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Would you tell Mr. Collier that I've observed that as we grow older, our hearing tends to diminish somewhat, and there are appliances available to assist you. You're kidding. You're not serious, are you? Yeah, he's serious. He's that serious? He just knows I can't respond back. Right. You're probably better off now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I hear fine. You guys mumble. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works. Hi, any other questions about our new ordinance? Mr. Collier, if you could call for the word, please. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Mr. Kroger? Yes. Mr. Mike Lowry? Yes. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. McIntyre? Yes. Mr. Zambach? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Ordinance 15-37, public hearing and action tonight. An ordinance amending section 7 of the employee handbook of the city of New Carlisle, Ohio, regarding the reporting of accidents. Council? Mr. Mayor, move to the ordinance. Uh, Seven. 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 Second. Did you get that? No. Mr. Reynolds, Mr. McIntyre. I think they're messing with me now. Are you good to go? Can you read lips? Good. I was second to the first year, the 32nd one. And for the explanation of this ordinance, this is just uh, updating or tweaking our uh, employee handbook. There is some confusion about how to uh, submit an accident. Um, so basically, we're just going there further defining how you do that, and that is a write and file, and also we establish a time frame within 24 hours. Questions? Anyone have questions on this case? None? Mr. Collier, the call for the vote. Mr. Zamba? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Mr. Craybon? <laughs> Mr. Mike Lowry? Yes. You can't, you can't pick that up on the microphone if you don't talk. <laughs> Mr. Mayor McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Rack. Yes. Thank you. Fast seven to zero. We're all getting a little uh, feisty tonight. Oh, that's a good team. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. having yeah. fun. Yeah. Everybody yeah. must be tired. You get kind of not No, tired. I think we're all over the need. Things are moving forward. Yes. 
Uh, that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you, sir. That's it for the ordinances. Other business. Okay, other business, council. Anybody would like to say anything? Not other business tonight. Well, the crop walk is coming. Crop walk. Yeah, so that's the 20th. And um, you can pick up applications for the crop walk at uh, the Brethren Church if you want to. Um, a lot of the other, Bethel Church is united when you're doing crop walk. The big thing about that is 25% of it comes back to the food pantry. Food pantry needs food. They but definitely need food. I, I was there today delivering food, matter of fact, and I have never seen the shelves being kind of more and more bare. They, they have told me, um, I asked Alberta, and Alberta said that what she is noticing is more adults, senior adults, using the food pantry. Okay. There's been a high rate in the last two months. Um, retirees are using it. Yeah. <clears throat> to be happy that it's there for them, that's for sure. That's for sure, but they got to have something on the shelf to do. Right. I they, got you. They, they said Alvar has been going t twice a week to get canned goods, mm -hmm. and they've been packing some out in, on Wednesday and uh, Friday. Well, good. Thank you for sharing that. Anyone else? Any other business? Okay. How about out there? Any other business tonight? Since we're moving along very rapidly here. May I ask a question about Twin Creeks? What's the status? Go ahead, Mr. So Twin Creeks was, uh, had, it's going through two share sales right now. So the first one was on 828, one parcel sold. We have a second one on September 11th, which is this Friday. If none of those parcels sell at that point in time, then I'll have, I have to be present at this next one, then we'll, I'll pay to record all the fees and those come back to the ownership of the city, and then we can sell at our leisure. A lot of things are moving forward, um, and that's why we're all kind of very happy. Twin Creeks is one of them. Our fire department is going in the right direction, so it's a very exciting times in this great city of ours. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else uh, on the roads? Any comments? Yes. The, uh, I just had a question about fire department. The, uh, I know you, it's nothing's real serious. Is Chief River still, or is this the Chief River still on Sydney? I cannot answer that. That's a, that's a personnel medical question. Okay. I could answer that. We would think that he would not have been assigned if he was. Well, I would think that too, okay. and I'll just stop right there. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. Anybody else on the audience? Any, any other comments, anyone? Okay, thank you. We'll go forward. Uh, Mr. Kyle, would you like to read the things that we have there, please? Sure. Thank you. Uh, the farmer market continues uh, every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the downtown area. Uh, there'll be a crime watch meeting this Wednesday, September the 9th at 6.30 p.m. here at Smith Park Shelter House. And the open door session uh, is held every, the second Tuesday of each month at 3 p.m. at the city building. It's a chance for citizens, citizens to meet face-to-face -face with the representative from Congressman Boehner's office. That's all I have on the agenda. Thank you, sir. Executive session, there's none tonight. One more time, anybody like to say anything before we close the meeting? Yeah, we're, we're expedient tonight. Very. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Zambo. No, we I you to tell you what I'm saying. You want to give that to me? What's that? I don't know. That's